Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another video. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, as you might have guessed from the thumbnail, this video is going to be about how to apply or how I did apply, right? If anyone is, and first of all, I would like to thank everyone for um, 5k subs. That's why I have a face cam also. Hello, uh, on. So, with that said, let's get started, right? So, who am I? Uh, first, we'll jump into that. Uh, so I have more than 2000 rating on lead code and I currently work at Microsoft. So last year or early this year, I received 10 job offers, fortunate enough. And, um, but the thing was that I gave more than 100 plus interviews and then applied to so many openings also, which I'll be covering in the next part of the video. So if anyone is new to the channel, one thing that I have felt, I also watch my videos, some of the tutorials I added, like design Instagram in 20 minutes. Those are meant for me also to watch myself if I have to revise. So I've seen that uh, I speak slow. So for a better experience, please watch at 1.5x. And if you have any questions, we do have a live stream every day at 10.30 p.m. Please feel free to join that if you have any questions. Okay, coming to the main part of this video, right? So 10 offers, how did I apply, right? So just to highlight some of the offers that I had were from these companies. Some of the rejections that I had were from these companies and more, right? And more there also. So offers and rejections, right? Uh, okay. Let me quickly refresh that. Okay, with that, uh, let's get started, right? We'll go over these details. How did I apply? So this is me, clueless me, I have no idea what to do, right? When I was applying, how to apply, which whether I should get referred, all of these things, right? And what if I'm getting a lot of rejection? So before I start, right, I would like to always say because you might be from a tier three college or you might be working in a service-based company or you might be having different scenario, right? You might be of a different stage of life. Always try to think of what is in your hand, right? What are th some things that you can control? So for example, if you are from uh, let's say tier three, right? You are currently in college. Can you change your college? No, right? You can't change your college. Whether you are working in a service based or a product based, right? Can you change that, right? What you are what you are doing currently, right? Can you control that? Only thing is that you can apply to more companies. You can do that, but you can't change your college now, right? You are already in that college, right? So what things that you can control is how much lead code you are doing, how much applications you are sending, how does your resume look like? What are the projects that you are building, right? These kind of things you can control. So always try to think in that manner, right? Things that you can control, right? So now that's why I have two arrows here. Uh, I'll highlight that things you can control. Always worry about that. Don't worry about number of rejections that you are getting, right? Can you control your rejections? No, right? Only thing is that maybe you can do a different strategy, right? Use a different strategy to apply, right? Now, uh, so A part is what I'll be talking about. That's what I do in my life, right? And that's what I would advise everyone to do as well. Uh, B is something if you are stuck, if you're still wondering about that, you cannot control, then you'll be stuck in this loop, right? So just a pictorial uh, thing before I get started. So not wasting much time. Again, watch it 2x, right? Because I speak slow. So a uh, career portal, right? How to play. First of all, you need to make a list of companies, right? List of companies. Let's say you are targeting companies from 10 LPA, right? So there I can bet there are like 200 to 300 companies, those who pay more than 10 LPA, right? Let's say 200, right? So you can make the list of these companies, not, not 20,000, definitely not 20,000. So make a list of these companies and with this list, always have the career portal on your notes, right? Ready. So every day what you have to do is, right? Look for five to 10 companies and then openings at each company, each of the above company, right? That's something that I used to do first in the morning. So every time from this 200, you have to pick five to 10 companies and then you have to look the openings at each company, right? Let's say you are applying for SG2. So you have to see how many openings are there for SG2, right? Now for uh, conclusion, I'll just say that I have 10 openings, right? Uh, that I have found, right? Or let's say five openings. Now in this five openings, what you need to, what I used to do is, right? I used to apply to three to four openings instantly. 
instantly and this is something that i used to do every day right now if we will accumulate just to tell i have applied in last year i have applied to more than a 1000 plus openings right out of that i have got 10 offers and then give us some other so you see what is the probability right the probability is just one person right now if you're wondering about how does the resume look and what about that so that i there is already video on the channel not gonna waste time explaining that part here right so um one percent chances is what i could convert right from this so you can imagine how much so there would be like 900 plus rejections right direct email rejections now three to four openings apply directly right and then do this every day for six months or until you get a job right do this this career portal you have to apply via career portal like all of the openings um, that i see all of the companies they do have a career portal the companies that will pay 10 lpa so first thing right this is most important now coming to how can you use linkedin right so how i use linkedin was that See, there is a reason I said five, right? Three to four openings apply instantly, right? Referrals. So this is most important. How to get referrals, right? First thing. So when you are applying to five to four companies or this 20 companies, right? Make sure that you have good connections on your LinkedIn from each of these companies. So let's say your requests every day so you have to connect with 10 to 20 people from these companies right every day right send them requests so that down the line let's say after 30 days or 60 days you have 20 to 30 connections for each company that that is the aim right that's why we are sending the request so that later you can ask them for referral, right so then format a message if you need help in formatting the reference i can send my message that i i used but it should be very straightforward your name and what you are currently doing and with that job id and your resume don't just ask them blindly if there is any opening at their company they don't know right so if you ask me i don't know what are all the other companies right all the other openings right so format your message have a job id so out of this five openings you might you have left one or two openings for that you have to send the request right format message and then ask for referral okay so out of that you will see that okay again the probability is everyone is busy in their lives right so you will get maybe one percent one percent out of this 22 or three will reply and actually one will refer right so we are referred so that is the only thing that i used so out of let's say i have i got 10 offers so out of those eight to nine were without referrals right so without referral is also important because when you apply also matters timing of your application also matters right see these are the things that we can control right waking up every day applying to new happenings is something that we can control and the meanwhile you don't have to waste your time sitting for a call back right do lead code do lead code that is completely in your hand right grind lead code meanwhile right so let me write that also here grind lead code right so that is something that you you can do right improve your brain coming to nokri so coming to nokri this is again have a complete profile on nokri so you need to have a complete profile right everything should be mentioned if you have download the app download the app right so they have a app and also one Thing about Nokri is the more you use the more your profile will be highlighted the more you use the more your profile gets highlighted right so the, it, it this is something that I learned from the Nokri app itself right so there is like invite you get invites right apply invites so apply invites you have to do that right so you have to do that. So once you you start using it like 30 minutes or 20 minutes every day, right? 30 minutes every day. Right. Now that is so you'll automatically see that new requests are coming to you. So you have to use that. Okay. You have to apply more basically. Uh, and then to give an example, a couple of companies like Flipkart, Walmart is I got a call from them directly from Nokri. I did not apply for Flipkart. So I got a call from Nokri, right? So that is why these these things are important, right? So you have to do that as well. 
Uh, now, one thing I may forgot to mention here is that you can also use easy apply. But if let's say tomorrow you connect with me and I ask you the, okay, that how many openings did you write? And you said that, okay, I've applied to 10 openings via easy apply, right? I have never gotten a call back from easy apply. Not sure why, but uh, for some it does work. So you have to do that. But along with this, you have to do this, right? This should never go away, right? Three to four openings every day for different, different companies. Now, Instahire is another application that I used, right? So it's like swipe. Uh, so I right, so I left kind of a thing, right? Instant, instant apply. So use that also because there I have seen that you can apply to like 30, 30, 40 openings, right? Again, but I would like, like I am mentioning pros and cons of both the things. I never got a call again from Insta hire, but it's not like that. If I have not got, I did not try. I, I didn't even try it, right? I tried it, right? So I, I used to, when I was used to in gym, I used to apply on using Insta hire, right? So you can use that, right? So apply to these. So this is because it is instance. Once you have uploaded your file, you just have to spy, swipe right to apply, right? Uh, swipe right to apply. So that is the another thing. now. Uh, so you have to swipe right. So use in gym, etc. I used it when I was in gym, right? So that's the another thing that I did. Now using all of these techniques, right? There are some ending notes that I would like to highlight already. I think I have spent 10 minutes uh, talking, right? So ending notes, right? Using all the techniques, right? You have to apply to at least more than 500 openings, right? Don't just say that, okay, you have applied to 10 openings and you, your chances are no, that's not the market is crazy. So, so you have to apply to more openings. That's first thing, right? I personally have applied to more than 1000 openings. And then, uh, then uh, along with that, so once let's say you have applied, right? What can, what can you do meanwhile, right? So you have to do lead code, right? Do lead code. If you are, let's say preparing for SD2, lead code is not enough, do LLD do HLD, all of these things are important if you are in SD2 role, right? You have to do all of these things every day. So let's say if you're studying for four hours, right? One hours of applying and then three hours of studying, right? See, these things are important. It's not like that, okay, you are just applying and then waiting for a call back to come. It's not gonna happen. It did not happen with me. It There's a chances that it is not going to happen to you as well, right? So try to, this is something that you can control. Like whether I'm doing two hours of lead code today, that is completely in my control. Whether I'm getting a rejection or whether I'm getting a call, right? That is not in my control. I have already done these four steps that were in my control. So focus on what is in your control. I see a lot of people getting demotivated. Tier three is no longer a barrier. There are a lot of great people who have already jumped from tier three to great companies, right? So don't think like you are already in a tier three, you can't control it, right? I am not trying to sound like a motivational speaker, but that is the truth, right? So in the end, let's say you that, that you will eventually get an offer, but consider this. So I did this thing for more than eight to 10 months, guys. So from last year, from June till January, right? So you can count how many months that are, but definitely these are close to eight months, right? So you have to do this, right? Uh, there might be, so you might get an offer when you just apply to one company that might happen, right? But then let's say if that is not happening, so you have to do everything that I have mentioned right now. Uh, so that's all for the video. I've already spent 15 minutes, but again, as I mentioned, like if you have come this far, I don't need to mention that watch at 1.5 X, but that is something that you should consider doing right. Uh, bye everyone. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. If you have come this far, uh, take care.